Hey everybody, this is Oxel here, and I'm gonna show you how to play the Elder Scrolls 3 on the GPD Win. There are two ways you can play it. First one is simply by running the Steam version, only you have to do a few things to get it running. So, first thing you want to do when you run it is go to your options and make sure that you pick the highest resolution possible which is in this case 800 600 set it to windowed mode otherwise it will get a screen rotated by 90 degrees which is really weird now before you start the game you need to uh, switch the resolution to um, the resolution that we just set it to. So let's see, you go to your um, screen settings and choose graphic options, resolution, and then set it to 800 by 600. Okay, this doesn't look pretty, but this is just to show you how it works. And you have to have a tool that allows you to use the controllers to map your Xbox 360 controls to mouse and keyboard buttons. I use a tool called Anti-Micro. I use it all the time for all these games and it's totally awesome. I've just switched the GPD Win to 360 controls and here I have one of my profiles for Morrowind. It is even called Morrowind. So here we go, it's ready. I can now, as you can see, I can Move the thumbstick and it will detect it as mouse up, mouse down, mouse right, mouse left. And WASD is the left thumbstick. So, here we go. Oh wait, I forgot something. It doesn't run full screen as you can see. That's why we want to have um, the borderless window tool enabled. So as soon as we get out of here we'll just start that. This will take a while I think. Just hold on a moment. And there we have it. Yes, there's our famous music. Yeah, this will see tomorrow wind. We'll choose exit. Wait, now before I choose exit, this already does look full screen, right? Uh, let me check this again. If I have the full screen tool already started, maybe. I think so. Oh, uh, yeah, borderless gaming. There it is. So yes, it is called borderless gaming and when you start it, you can add processes, exit files running to your favorites. And as you can see, we've got Morrowind and Bioshock there. So that means when you start it, this tool borderless gaming will detect it and it will remove the window borders. So let's do that again and see what it looks like if we run it the regular way. Load a, I don't know where, just an old game of mine.
as you can see I'm using the thumbsticks um, I think I've got a to activate stuff let's go to the place where the game really starts yes so there's Mr. Gravius this is the bin where we find the ring and so this is that table where you pick up the lockpick you can try it out um and here we started the game came up from the boat to say the neen what's this regarding yes this is regarding me showing Morrowind on a cheap wind Okay, let's head back. This is actually playing rather well. Go ahead, stranger. Now, something else we can do, we can show you how it works in Open Morrowind using the exact same controller layout that I set up with Enter Micro because I think I prefer that one to the Xbox 360 controller setup that OpenMorrowWind supports by itself. So let's, I'm gonna set the resolution back to the standard resolution that is, let's see, 1280, there we are. So now we can just run Open Morrowind. So now Morrowind is running 12A and Here we are at the place where we were last time. And there are a lot of things that you can change here in Open Morrowind. For instance, you can set, was it? If you get a video, for instance, to water, you can turn a lot of stuff on. But it doesn't perform that well. And you will definitely notice this being troublesome for the GPD wind, although. You can fiddle with the effects and a view distance now. Here, let's set the view distance to a bit further. Where is it? Video. Fill the view. Detail view distance. One thing you need to do here is set this one all the way to zero and don't change anything about your texture filtering and this will even drop you a few more frame rates a few frames per second but you get a further distance here this is really horrible and unplayable like this but what I do I always I've played this game quite a bit and I've turned the options, I've turned the view distance a bit back and I turned the water thing a bit back and that gave me a pretty awesome viewable, uh, playable game. So let's turn this one off. Set it to OK. It is a wondrous encounter. Wow. 
Uh, let's take a peek at Belmora. We make a special trip just for you. Same low price. Same low price. Here we are. It's a bit foggy. It's not even the view distance only. It turns out to be a very foggy day here. But there you have it. Morrowind on a GPD win, it really plays very well. Either by Open Morrowind or the default player that you get if you just run it. <coughs> well, that was the video so far. I want to thank you for watching. If you like it, please just give me a thumbs up or share it, leave a comment. Um, and enjoy Morrowind on your GPD win. Bye bye.